Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here from Watertight Marketing for my second of five videos this week talking about marketing in survival mode. Um, I don't know about you, but when I watched the Prime Minister's statement last night um, declaring the national emergency, I, um, you know, I felt tears in my eyes and a and a lurch in the pit of my stomach. It's, although it's been very real for a few weeks, it really did hit home, really, didn't it, um, last night? So what I wanted to do is just share some thoughts about what business owners um, in this time of crisis and survival um, should be doing with their marketing at the moment and to do that in a way that is calm because um, I've seen, you know, I know that the temptation is to panic and um, hit the panic button and, and start being very busy doing because sometimes crises make you want to do something and feel productive. Um, but I want to kind of just put my arm around you and say it's okay to be a bit calmer about things. Um, first of all, because everybody is in crisis and nobody needs you adding to the noise at the moment. Um, also, you know, if you take a couple of weeks to gather your thoughts, no one's going to miss you. Everybody is busy with their own stuff um, and their own thoughts um, at the moment anyway. Um, so if you're not jumping into action, if you are and you feel great about that, and that's great, obviously, I'm not saying stop doing that. Um, but if you're if you're not jumping straight into action, it's okay to take a bit of a breather. Um, hi Chris, hi Cheryl, lovely to have you here live. Um, those of you those of you who are watching, I only know who you are if you if you comment, so um, do comment if you wish to. So yesterday I talked about taking that breather um, and thinking about your values, what's important to you, um, thinking about the customers that you serve and why you serve them. And I think I would add to that, taking some time to visualise what the business you want on the other side of this is. Now, for those of you um, who don't know, um, I had the rug pulled from under me in December I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and so what that's meant for my business is that I've had barely any income since January so I'm a little way ahead of you in having had the rug pulled from under me and what I've taken time to do is think you know what do I want on the other side of my cancer treatment um, and that's allowed me to think really clearly about the business I want to build and hopefully you can take the time to do the same and think about the vision of what you want on the other side of this and it may not be what's gone before it may be that you choose to organize your business a little a bit differently. So um, have a look at your values, have a think about who you're serving, do they energise you, are they the people you want to hang out with and what's your vision for the other side of this because we will come out of it and there will be a thriving economy on the other side that you can be part of but you can do it calmly, you don't need to hit the panic button. Now what I want to talk about today is um, turning your marketing upside down. Now before I do that I just want to have noted down a few little bit bits of kind of basic admin that can be done immediately um, that are really sensible to, to do um, in the meantime. So the first is to communicate to your active customers if there's something already in play. Now what I don't think you should be doing is blanket emailing your entire database, uh, particularly because there may be people on there who quite frankly can't remember who you are and suddenly receiving an email email from you in a crisis does seem a little bit um it's just, I don't know about you, but I've had emails from people who think, they're, think that I'm their customer and I can't even remember who they are. So don't blanket email, but um, detail your active customers and, and communicate with them about what's what's happening in your business and how it affects them. Have a look at any automated sequences that you have, any scheduled social media, any ad campaigns that you may have been running, because the tone of that and the copy of that might now be wholly inappropriate. So those are sensible bits of admin to do. Um, update your website with um, any details affecting um, um, the delivery of your services, etc. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was turning your marketing upside down, and this is a core concept in watertight marketing. It's not just for times of crisis, it's always, but it's particularly pertinent now. Now, what most people do with marketing, in fact, the definition of marketing for many people is talking to the world, putting your message out there, generating awareness, um, and generating new leads. And I want you to turn that on its head. So um, the picture that I've got behind me here, this poster, is um, is a you won't be able to see it in detail, but I'll describe it to you. Is a poster of the core concepts from Waterstep Marketing, and what we do is we turn the typical vision of a sales funnel um, into three distinct areas: a bucket, funnels and filters, 
and taps. And what most people call marketing is what we call taps. And taps are expensive. They're expensive in terms of your, it's often paid media or it's taking time and it's reaching people who've never heard of you. And I genuinely don't think, there are some exceptions to this. There are some people who've you know jumped on a product that's really pertinent to the moment. But for most people, reaching people who've never heard of you probably isn't what you want to be doing right now. And so what we say um, at Watertight Marketing and the core principles of the book is that what you do is you start at the bottom with your bucket, um, you get that really watertight and working really well, then you move up to funnels and filters, and only then do you move up to taps. So what I think you should be doing now is really having a look at where you're focusing your energy. And if it's all on taps, you know, talking to the wider world and generating awareness, that's probably not your best focus for the moment. Turn it upside down, focus first on your customers, that's number one priority. So your active existing customers, your most recent lapsed customers, and then those further out. So in that order, so you're talking recency first. So existing customers, and you get in touch with them um, according to their most recent interaction with you with active customers being first. Then move to those that you were in conversation with. So your kind of active pipeline, the people that you were having conversations about working with, but were not working with yet. They would be your next level of priority to be talking to. And then after that, the next priority would be to talk to um, brand new people. So it's really important now more than ever. It's important that there are so many reasons why turning your marketing upside down is a good idea at any time. Uh, it's particularly pertinent now. Um, and one of the reasons I wouldn't go straight to taps is that there is so much noise. I have seen, you know, every every man and his dog hosting a free webinar on business continuity. Now, I don't know their credentials in business continuity, but also I don't know about you, but I do have things to be getting on with. Um, I'm not at home twiddling my thumbs. I'm uh, homeschooling my eight-year-old and also running my business. And for me, I'm also having chemotherapy. So I'm quite busy. Um, I don't actually want to do back-to-back -back webinars for the next month. Um, what I might want to do is look at a few really relevant, well thought through webinars in a month's time, uh, particularly when the dust has settled around what the government support is going to be for everybody. So it's really important that you just sit down and make a little plan. So you start with what I was talking about yesterday, which is calm, breathe, go back to your values. What do you do? Why do you do it? Who do you do it for? And what's the vision for your business? That's your kind of foundation piece. And the key question to ask yourself in that foundation piece is, who do I want in my life? Now, what customers do you want in your life? What people do you want to bring into your life by, by virtue of doing business with them? And that it may be a time to have a refresh on that during this period. So really think clearly about the business that you want on the other side of this. Then make yourself a plan to turn your marketing upside down. Start with your bucket um, with existing customers first, so your active customers, so go out in recency, active customers, recently um, people who were customers of yours recently recent they're more lapsed customers and then people who were customers thereafter then move up to people you were in conversation with and only then um, go out to the wider world now I'm going to be doing um, a video at each lunchtime so tomorrow I'm going to focus in specifically so once you've got that list of customers so active customers recent customers lapsed customers beyond then make start segmenting your database in that way. Um, let's tomorrow talk about what would be useful to do for those people. Then on um, Thursday, I'll talk about funnels and filters. What could or should you be doing for people that you were in conversation with? And then on Friday, I'll talk about your taps. What could or should you be doing about talking to customers beyond those that you've already heard of or have already heard of you in some way? Um, so that's it um, for me today. Just have a quick look at comments. Yeah, really good uh, point from Cheryl here. Don't don't disregard GDPR. Um, just because there's an economic crisis doesn't mean that the law doesn't apply. So take care in those blanket emails. I've had hundreds of them, um, and I'm fairly sure that um, many of them have just gone 
send to all um, rather than really have a think about um, you know really have a think about what's going on um, with their le legal status for doing that so take take care with that um, and those little admin things to be doing to make sure that you're not inadvertently sending out things that are inappropriate have a look at any automated sequences any scheduled social media that you had um, in your automated pipelines um, any advertising campaigns that you were running I can't be the only one who's seen some Facebook ads and just gone oh Oh no, that's so inappropriate. Um, and it was probably scheduled months ago. Um, but my main message is that you don't need to be doing all this stuff immediately. Stay calm. Let's wait to see how this government support shakes down. Everybody, um, you know, with some exceptions who ha are having a real boost to their businesses at the moment because they do personal services, everybody's in the same boat. And we are all going to still be here on the other side of this. And if you're not, if you're taking a bit of a moment to grieve and to breathe, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Big hug from me. I'll see you tomorrow at midday for um, what to do with your customers um, and customer communication.